What up, y'all? It's your boy, Wayne Train, back with another joint. Today, we got the LGV30. I know I'm a little late with it, but it is what it is. We got it in the building. It's been one of my most anticipated phones uh, for the year. I was a big fan of the LGV20. So, you know, I had to get the V30. Just took me a little bit, but we got it. So, let's get it. So, with the specs, I guess we can start there. Six inch display. It's got the bezel-less design that everybody's getting into now. Uh, Quad HD plus. Um, it's an OLED panel. So, that's what everybody been wanting. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> That's what everybody been wanting, the OLED panel. I think the uh, the V20 was rocking an LCD. A lot of people weren't feeling that, so they finally got the OLED panel. We'll see how that is. Um, 3,300 milliamp hour battery, 64 gigs onboard storage, four gigs of RAM. Uh, for the cameras, we got 16 megapixel dual camera setup, 16 megapixel uh, rear camera, and a... Uh, 13 megapixel wide angle camera. So we'll check that out. Front facing five megapixels. Uh, just right off the bat, I know I wasn't feeling it on the V20 to have that five megapixel camera. We'll see if it's a little bit better, but it wasn't the best front facing camera. So I'm kind of anticipating the same, but we'll see what's up. Snapdragon 835, all the, all the usual suspects when it comes to that stuff, so I'm just gonna get right up into it. Let's go. No knife, just all nails with it. All nails with it. All right, let's see what we got coming. Yeah. Okay, this is, this is a screen protector. Or, um, oh, they got a nice little cleaning cloth, it looks like, so that's a nice touch. And then there's a the phone. Let me set this joint to the side for a sec. Let's see what we got in the box. Oh, yeah. So V the the LG, they got a second year warranty. It seems. So I gotta register it, I guess. But that's what's up. You don't see that very often. Most phones get that one year joint. This one, they got you with the second year, so you ain't got nothing to worry about. Let's see what else we got in the box. Uh, SIM ejection tools, instructions. Uh, SIM. Uh, we got it's your USB cable and got your power brick. No headphones, damn. I'm not feeling that. It's whatever though. No headphones. Got that quad DAC that I forgot to mention earlier, but that would have been nice if they came with some headphones, but it is what it is. Let's get with the phone. What is this? This is nice though. Let's see if I get this right. Um, looks like I'll start here. I'm, just gonna slide out. <laughs> I'm being too too dramatic. So there you go. I'm all clean. Get this joint off. Sorry. Um, this in terms of weight, it's kind of kind of light. Um, it is it's it's light, but I mean. I don't know. It ain't. I don't. I wouldn't say it's too light though. It's pretty cool. I'm cool with that. Got your uh, power button. Also, uh, fingerprint scanner on the back. It's got a little rockiness to it. Um, it doesn't feel cheap or anything. Like it being light, it seems like it feels pretty good. Um. It's got the same glass here on the camera lens. So I think on the V, that was a problem with the V20 as well. They had a plastic film 
they had to protect this because like this screen or this glass that covered on the V20 was super fragile and like just hairline scratches that accumulated over time would eventually result in a cracked um, camera lens and you ain't got you know, your cameras done for after that happens so but now that's that's a good thing that they added the gorilla glass up there gorilla glass on the back front headphone jack at the top focus yep. got a couple mics and a mic right there I think there's an SD card I'm not sure but I'm gonna go ahead and power it on Juice. Damn, we in there. Let's see. Let's see if I can find a. I got mine with T Mobile, by the way, since you already seen him, but. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and put my. Put my SIM in. We'll get going. So how y'all day, man? How's y'all day? Hopefully it's good by the time you hear this video, or see this video, rather. Um, yeah, I've been pretty happy about this one. I've really been amped to get the V30. It just took me a little while, but let's go. Go ahead. I'm just going to, I'm probably going to go ahead and skip through this, but we gonna go through and set this joint up. I just did a reboot when I put my sim in, so. And then, uh, yeah, I'll get right back with y'all when I'm all set up. Let's go. What up, y'all, what up? <clears throat> Damn, six, I'm back with it. Uh, play with it for a second. Pretty cool, pretty cool, I'm feeling it. Um, just real quick, I'm gonna show y'all the fingerprint sensor. It's pretty fast. Oh, I do. I took a picture. It's pretty quick. Oh, uh, that's decent. But nah, um, first thing I did is went in and threw on that dark thing. Super fingerprint magnet off the bat. I ain't had this phone for like <laughs> 10 minutes out of the box. And it's already smudged up, but that's what you get for glass back phones. So make sure you get yourself a case, screen protector, you know, do it up. But um, the main features of this phone are not so much software and things of that nature. It's really, well, it is software a little bit, but that quad deck, I can't really get y'all the uh full experience of that obviously but if you had it's one of those things you gotta you gotta try it you gotta see it or whatever to believe it um the quad deck is for real if you got yourself a nice set of good wired headphones the quad deck is the truth like trust me i had i got i got the v20 um and that quad deck it's it's great um it, I'm not, like I said, I'm not like a big, I love music, but I can't like, <laughs> I'm going to be straight up. It's hard for me to really articulate terms and stuff like that when it comes to music. So I'm learning that as I go on with this stuff, but just know that it makes everything sound great. Volume increasing, like it just seems like things are louder. Um, things are a lot more clearer. Um, I won't say it adds bass or anything, but like, if you really just listen to detailed stuff in your music, the DAC kind of amplifies a lot of those things, that, like a lot of the shortcomings and whatnot. Like, if you were to just plug it into a normal, like a like the headphone jack on the, on the Note 8, um, you're going to notice a difference once you, because it's a feature, actually. So once you put it, put your headphone jack in, um, put your headphones in, there's a, See if I can see it on here, right there. That'll pop up. Hi-Fi deck. Once your headphones are in, you can you'll have get the option to turn that on, and then from there, like once it's on, you can 
you rocking out. Um, sounds are great. Like, trust me, it's, like I said, it's one of those things you got to see it to believe it. So I can't really, by me talking about it, ain't going to do it justice. So y'all check it out for yourself. Um, but what, another feature is um, the wide angle lens on the camera. So uh, let's see. So see, look at that. Normal shot. Take a picture. That's a 16 megapixel camera on just the normal shots like that. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That was a wide angle. Here we go. Let me show y'all. Now look, that was a, this is a normal portrait shot. So, check this out. Now, you hit these little threes. There's a single tree and there's three trees. You click this one. Bam. That's the wide angle right there. It's crazy. Like when you out with your boys or your friends, whatever you're doing, you get everybody in a shot. Like you ain't got to worry about finding that tall friend with the super long arm so you can get the picture. Of you. Let me see. I think there's a wide angle on the front to mind me. I look jacked up, but let's see. But as you can see, like the quality on the front camera is not the greatest, but. Let me see, I'm gonna get back in there. So here's a single regular normal shot. Activate the wide angle. Let's see. What's the difference? Yeah. It's it's a little bit of a difference. Not oops sorry. It's not it's not as drastic of a difference as it is on the rear camera, but You'll, you'll notice it when you take a selfie, so. It is water uh, resistant IP, IP68. Okay, so that's basically what most, or not most most phones nowadays, uh, most of the flagships, Samsung, uh, Apple now, IP67 or IP68. The difference is very minute, but the water resistance is what you want. We ain't had it, we didn't get it in the V20. We got it here in the V30, so that's what's up. Um, let's see, what else we got? Display. Display is pretty cool so far. Um, hear a lot of people talking about this blue tint issue. Um, I guess there's blue tints on a lot of these OLED panels, but specifically the LG panel and the same because LG also with the Pixel 2 XO. LG made that one too, so. There's a blue tone, you can you can see it's a little bit, but I mean, just just be real with yourself. Like, <laughs> who doing this? Like, who doing this? Like, yeah, there's a time where you will like, kind of look at your phone at these angles, but like, are you watching a video like this? Like, seriously, you gonna be out here looking at your phone like really like this, like? No, Mo, you're gonna be looking at it straight on. You might catch at an angle like this, but that blue tint is very minute. You gotta be looking for it in order to, like, to really find it. Um, it's very nitpicky. I would not even consider it like a. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even acknowledge it honestly. Like, just I'm just being straight up. So, I I'm not I'm not worried about. It. I feel like every phone nowadays got some kind of angle thing, but. Until somebody like wanted to nitpick, we didn't even notice it. So here it is. We got blue tint issues. So it is what it is. But um, 33 milliamp hour battery. I'm gonna be testing out the battery. Check it out. See how good it lasts. Um, uh, speaking for the LV, LG V20, it was decent. Um, but it had a removable battery, so you can always just swap it out and um, keep it moving. This is uh, obviously non, a non-removable battery, so hopefully uh, things work out pretty good for it, but we're going to be checking it out. Um, I'm not a huge heavy user. I'll try to use it heavy as I can, but me normally, um, throughout my days, I listen to music basically nonstop, uh, some YouTube. Um, I don't play many video games on my phones, but... Um, my biggest thing is I just need my phones to be able to breeze when it comes to browsing and video, um, watching videos and whatnot. So I can never really do a mid-tier phone. 
So this, I always got to go with the big, the flagship, so the, the nice top of the line joint. So I'll be, uh, I will be testing out some mid range joints though as well, just to give a fair comparison. But um, yeah, real quick, um, check a weight. It's kind of a weight difference with the note and the V20, V30. Uh, see the size comparison. It's a little taller there. It does. I'm sorry. Not as wide, huh? They're about they're about the same width. Um but uh I'm not I'm a little worried about that. I don't know if y'all peeped that. My uh always on display isn't moving. That's not good. I ain't trying to get no screen burn. So on the on the uh on the note A here, it basically moves almost every time. See it here's in the middle. Let's see if we can do it again. I think it moved up a little bit. Really, nigga? Wait. I think I noticed a lot more on the on this that it moves pretty often. You don't want this thing just staying there, so I'm gonna try to keep this screen on until I figure out what's going on with that. But uh so far that's probably the biggest issue that's going on so far with this phone. But other than that, it's solid. I can't wait to try out the deck. Um, I ain't used it in a while. I ain't used my V20 in a while, so it'll be a nice refresher. This will be something I can pump in the car with the aux. So, nah, man. I think that's about it here. Uh, y'all let me know if there's anything that y'all want to know, anything more. Uh, I'll try to get back with a, a review here pretty quick. So, yeah. It's your boy, Wayne Train. I'm out.